In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean out a dirty window AC. And we're going to do it right now. So to clean the AC, I'm going to use a bottle of water here. This is uh, warm water and I have about this much bleach in here because I have some mold in my AC. And then I put a, a little bit of mild dish detergent in here. Um, other things you're going to need, gloves, especially if you're dealing with bleach, maybe a little scrub brush, and a garden hose. And you'll also need a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, let's start taking this thing apart. Uh, your AC might be a little different depending on um, like where your filters are, how they some pull out from the side. This one just unclips like this, and there's a dirty filter. Actually, not the worst I've ever seen. So we're just gonna put all these parts aside. This door should come off. There we go. Now that is bad. And if you have an AC that's like this, uh, this really isn't gonna be very efficient. It probably might not get cold um, because it needs these fins to actually work it needs to be open more like this so this is gonna work a lot better once we clean this all up this screw out here again your AC is probably gonna be different uh, you're just gonna kind of look around and look for screws and remember where they went now there's two little screws hidden here right, and take this kind of push the sides in and pull out on this at the same time just be careful especially with the electronics here all right I'm gonna take this panel and actually pop this little wire out and then carefully just bring this up sit it up there for a minute and then I'm gonna take this apart basically what I want to do is just disconnect this wire um, there's a couple screws in here okay and I can lift this up and carefully pull that out and then I can disconnect this wire there we go <laughs> might take a little effort but got it off and I just want to tuck all this stuff back in here and put this panel back on until after I clean everything. I just wanted to get that one panel out of the way. But now I'll put these screws back in for now, or at least two of them, just so that stuff isn't exposed. So if you also look in here, that is nasty. That's just dirt and mold. And we're not going to get it perfect, but I'm going to try my best to clean it up. Get the side pieces off. There we go. All right, now we want to take the back cover off. So there's going to be a series of screws around here maybe some in the back I might be holding it on and basically just take the screws off until the thing loosens up enough where you can just lift it off right there so do that right now this thing off. Just be careful, don't snag anything. Okay, with the cover off, now all this is exposed. And this says do not remove, but I really want to get to that fan back there because it is nasty. So I'm just going to cut this right here 
and I'll put it back together carefully afterwards. Um, but I'm going to take this off. More foam there. Yeah. Because I got to clean all that. Nice. So, if you look at these fins, that's what this is supposed to look like. And we're going to try and get it as close to this as possible. And this is as far as I'm going to go. You can see back here that there's a bunch of buildup. Um, I'm going to spray in here and try and blow it out from this side. Uh, and I'll spray in here too. And uh, we're pretty much ready to spray this down and start cleaning it. So I'm going to take my solution that I made again, a little bit of bleach because of the mold that I have. A little bit of dish soap and some warm water and I'm just gonna take these pieces even the ones that don't have mold on them or anything and just spray them down a little bit this is where you should be using gloves <laughs> okay I got my glove and I'm not worried about ruining my driveway or anything just bleach is meant to clean okay I move this I don't I want to be careful around the electronics uh, natively an air conditioner is wet on the inside but <clears throat> I want to be careful I don't want to spray inside the electronics uh, but I'm gonna spray both sides of this these electronics I want to be careful and I could actually take these out just by prying them over and popping them out, but I think I can get them clean enough the way they are. And I want to clean this panel anyways. Inside of this panel, this is not bad at all. These things, why not? This foam piece, really gross. And if I have to, I'll just repeat these steps until it's nice and clean. All right. Now, this nastiness. Uh, I could vacuum this to get a lot of this off, but um, it's pretty caked on there, so I'm just going to spray it and hose it. And again, I'm just going to be careful of this in here. I don't want to spray in here. Uh, but everything else will be good. I'll soak this right down. Now, over here, the fan. Spin it. And then all the foam and everything down there. Okay, now on the back of here, the fan itself and the fins back there, try and get as much as I can. Like I said, I'm going to spray it out from the back side, so this would be a good time if you actually have what's called a fin comb, to comb these fins straight um, so they have the air gap in between them. I don't know what happened to this, looks like somebody put it down on a bucket or something. Uh, but that doesn't help um, with the way this thing works. So it'd be good if you have one, if you can do it. You can even take like a toothpick or a piece of metal and try and straighten them out if you want. But keep spraying. I'm trying to spray it so it hits the uh, other side. I got all my pieces sprayed. Now I'm just gonna let that soak for a little bit. And for the really dirty stuff, you can use a brush and just, okay, and that just looks way better. Just be careful around the sensor here for the, the thermostat. I might even spray that down again. All right, so after you 
spray everything down, you scrub it with your brush, now comes the fun part. Spray it down with your hose. You want to make sure you rinse this stuff off real good. Get all the bleach and soap off of it. It's good to do it on a, a nice warm day where you can just let the stuff dry out for quite a bit. Especially the unit itself. Now for the really satisfying one. Get this out of the way. Like I said, you're probably never gonna get it perfect, but that's way better. If you want to clean it again, spray it, and then uh, rinse it off, you can do that. But that looks pretty good for me. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Got a pool of water here that I gotta get out of here. And there's still some black here, so I'm gonna clean that up a little bit. I'll probably spray this whole thing again and, uh, and then hose it down. Um, but you can spot clean stuff if you really wanna, if you really wanna get into it. Um, that's up to you. But the biggest thing for me is I want to get rid of the mold and I wanted to clean this up so that the thing would work properly. And I think I've done that. So I'm just going to clean a couple other sections and I might get some compressed air. I'm going to have to drain this and uh, yeah, dry it all out. I gave this thing a second cleaning and it's not ever going to be perfect and a lot of this is staining from the mold and the mildew uh, and it, it actually looks pretty clean especially compared to what it did look like uh, so you're never going to get this thing perfect um, just the important stuff is the stuff that's going to be blowing inside the house so if you have mold in here on the fan you can see that's nice and clean um, and all of this, uh, that's the important thing. Everything else is gonna get dirty. You're gonna get leaves and stuff in here and it's gonna get wet and it's gonna get nasty. Um, so let this dry out a little bit more and then we'll be good to reassemble. Okay, now you can just put it back together the way you took it apart. And it's not gonna rain tonight, so I'm actually gonna put this back together. It's Everything's still a little wet. I'm gonna put it back together and let it sit out overnight and throughout the day tomorrow just to make sure everything is nice and dried out I just don't want to leave it apart overnight we put all the screws back they were supposed to go.
screws back out. A lot easier hooking it back up than taking it apart. Make sure not to crush the wires. clean filter. Goes in just like that. Awesome. So that's it. I hope this video helped you out. And if you are interested in more content like this, you can click here and here-ish. And I'm thinking about making a video on how to install this. Let me know what you think. All right. Until next time, we'll see you.